Okay, so with the release of Gemini 3, it makes it a lot easier for anybody that has no idea on how to code or development background to build apps. If you come over here to Google AI Studio, you can build them for completely free by just chatting to this chat box over here and it will build the app for you. Now, there's been multiple apps like this before, like Lovable or Repla Agent, and they've been able to do this, but the difference between Google is we have access to the whole Google ecosystem, like Nano Banana, which will generate images for our app, or we have access to VO, which will generate video. So if we wanted to make an app for maybe real estate agents that would generate videos, then we could just prompt this chat box right here, and it would build it all in essentially just one prompt. Now I'm going to show you exactly how we can use this in this video and I'm going to build an app for recruitment agents where they can put in people's CV and the AI agent is going to rank their CV on the file that has been input. So this could save recruitment agents hundreds of hours every single week so they don't have to review the CVs anymore and they can essentially have AI do the heavy lifting for them. So to start off, come over here to this chatbot. Firstly, come over to aistudio.google.com and come over to this build section over here. This is basically where we're going to build the app with the new Gemini release. And I'm gonna say in here, can you build me an app for recruitment agents? I want the app to be new, modern and fresh and not an AI style app. I want it to look like it was made by a professional website designer. We can use flat buttons with no rounding so it looks a little more professional. In this app, the purpose of this is a recruitment agent can upload files of other people's CVs and you will rank them in a neat format giving them a score and eligibility for the role. In the app, you should have a section where we can have the job position that we are uploading the files for. And also you should save these files so we can view them in a later date. And also the job title should be saved so we can upload multiple files. Okay, so I'll just paste that in here and I'll press build. And what I am hoping for with this app now, as it makes these changes, is I'm hoping it outputs an app that we can use where I can upload a job role and then I can upload a bunch of files and it's going to, and it's going to output reports for me based on that job role that I've uploaded. So maybe if you have a job role, I'm looking for a new software developer. When I upload a bunch of CVs, it's going to reference that job role and know that we're looking for maybe a software developer with, with five years experience and it's going to look at all of the CVs and figure out who is the best fit for that role. So that's what we hope. Maybe it might get it in the first try, it may not. So we might have to come back to this chat box over here and try again, but let's see what it outputs. Okay, so you can see over here, it has outputted this app, which is Talent Scout Pro. And it gives us the basic functionality of this app. Now, obviously there's a lot more we could do to this app to make it look neater and also add more functionality, but you can see it has the basic functionality over here. Firstly, we can create a new job position. If I click in here, I can say, I am looking for a senior developer. And let's say the department we are looking for is engineering. And let's say in here, we need a senior dev there with five years experience and he must know the code language python obviously we can make this a lot more detailed but let's say if we create this position now you can now see over here we have senior developer in the engineering department and this is the job description and now you can see over here we can upload the cvs and it will use this job and this job title to see if the person is a right match now over here i have two template cvs so firstly we have this senior developer cv which is right here so i'm going to download this as a pdf and we also have this junior developer cv as well so if i come over here and i upload the junior developer cv it should give us a score which is not so good in terms of compatibility because this person is a junior developer so as you can see he got a score of 15 and he's a low fit and in here it outputs a full summary for us we have an executive summary here where it says NMA is an entry-level developer with foundational knowledge in Python, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. The candidate has basic project experience in three months of a development internship, primarily focused on bug fixes and UI updates. While possessing relative language skills in Python, the candidate's experience level is significantly below the senior development required. So that's perfect. That has just saved this recruitment agent probably a couple of minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes in time of them having to review the CV. And over some time, you can imagine how all of this can stack up to save them multiple hours. Now, let's say we want to upload the senior developer one, which is this one. We should get a lot higher of a score 
because this is a senior developer which fits this role perfectly so if we upload that senior developer then over here you can see andrew collins gets a score of 95 he has the five years experience and the python knowledge so you can see here andrew collins is highly experienced senior full stack engineer with over eight years in designing scalable web applications improving system architecture leading development team so basically it does the full team for us and in one prompt we have created this full app so if i come over here can view the original C cv in which it shows us the pdf that we uploaded so everything here is perfect now let's say we wanted to add a little more functionality maybe i wanted to output all of the contact details as you can see in here there's nowhere where i can see his contact details i would have to go into the original cv um and maybe phone details etc so i'm going to say over here to the app okay the app is working now can you make sure that in the review of the person's cv that in the card as the output you leave all of their contact information like email phone number etc and make it as easy as possible for me to contact all of the relevant applicants to save me the most amount of time as possible also i want you to take a deep dive into this app and tell me what you think or implement what you think may be useful for this app that a recruitment agent could use to save them a bunch of time okay so we can paste that into here and now it should firstly make that change where it outputs the person's contact details just to make it a little more easier for us to contact them and also it should think itself and make some changes that would save recruitment agents a little more time than what we are already doing for them okay so the ai has made them changes and over here you can see the changes that it has made so it said here is the specification of the changes so firstly it has added the contact extraction and the one click actions so now the ai will extract the email phone number and location and LinkedIn websites from the CV and we will have an auto email function in the app. It has also added some high value time saver feature, which is the AI interview questions. Recruitment agents spend a lot of time preparing for screening calls. I've added a new section to the AI analysis, which is screening questions. The AI looks at the specific gaps between the candidate's CV and the job description and generates three tailored questions to ask during the first phone call to verify their suitability so this should save um, real estate agents a lot more time so now we can upload them two cvs again firstly let's create the job description which is senior developer we are looking for them in engineering okay for the job description i'm going to add one that's a little more detailed as you can see here we're looking for a senior full stack software engineer we have some details about the role we have some ideal candidate has strong experience with these type of code and languages and we've added in something that's just a little more detail so i can create this position now and we can upload some cv so firstly let's upload the junior cv and the senior cv and we can upload both of them at the same time and it should output the analysis now with all of them updates that have been made and as you can see here we get the kind of same result where we have john which is the senior dev with a high score and then the person junior dev with a low score and if we click in here now we should be able to see that we have a instant button here where we can draft an email we can call him uh, we have the executive summary and the strengths and weaknesses here also we still have the section over here which is view original cv and down here the ai has suggested some screening questions so the, the job description mentions familiarity with infrastructure as code tools like terraform or cdk as a nice to have could you share any experiences you've had with lac even if not with these specific tools and how you approach managing infrastructure programmatically so it has noticed in john cv that he's probably left out some details about this and it has included that in the suggested screening questions which is obviously going to save a lot of time so up here we have the draft email if i click this button here it's going to take me to a page where it's going to draft an email directly to john it has the interview request uh, for the senior developer role so it automatically puts in the subject and over here it has put in the body to the email as well so that could save a good amount of time also so that's kind of everything we're looking for in this app obviously we could add more functionality but i just wanted to show you how useful it is to be able to build these apps and how quickly somebody with absolutely no code can build these i mean i built this with basically two prompts in a matter of minutes so that just shows you really how powerful and where this space is going if you want to start your own ai automation agency click the first link down below where i teach people how i scaled my agency 
to over 100k per month.